I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force. The purpose is to practice forcing hands. This is a great skill if you ever want to play in a competitive event where they have prizes. They pick a category or two or three or maybe ten for the whole event. Well, they pick categories, let's just say, and then players vie for prizes. If you win a hand with one of those pre-selected categories, you could go home with a prize. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just wanna build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have Joker, Northeast, Dragon, Pung of Fours in dots, two, five in cracks, one, two, six, seven, nine in bams. We need to force singles and pairs, wins dragons, or consecutive run. Which of these would you focus on with these tiles? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would focus on the fours and probably focus on consecutive tiles. Four, five, six, seven. If we get a five dot, we could do the Pung Kong hand. I would also keep the wins because we might be able to do that concealed hand. With a Pung, I wouldn't consider singles and pairs. Plus we have a joker. So let's pass Let's see. Hmm. Two nine with the dragon. Save that for the next pass. This looks pretty risky, but I don't think so. It's not so bad. We're focused on the four. Oh my gosh, I don't I cannot imagine someone passing two white dragons, but We'll see. Okay, now look at this. We have a pair of E's. I don't even know if that is going to be useful. Pair of E's. We have two tiles to pass. I would still focus on four, five, six, seven. I'd probably let that go. Two, three, four. Oh, if we can get flowers, we could play the concealed hand. Okay, now here's a six, three, four, five, six. That's what I would focus on. No gaps. I'd probably let a north go. Two, two, three, four, dragon, east. Oh, look, we got a six, three, four, five, six. Okay. We don't have any flowers. I think I would let the two go. Because if we do get flowers, we could play three, four, dragon. I would let that go. Three dot. Three, four, five, six. Oh, five. All right. I would risk passing. Oh, that would be really risky. But we're in 
the cross pass, we have to pass, but we have a hand with no gaps and all multiples. We're actually set. We could pung, kong, pung, kong. I would risk it. Wow, five, six. We need tiles to pass though. I think I would just go ahead and pass these. Oh my goodness, look, we got a keeper. And I would risk passing these three. Oh, we got the two back. Two, three, four, but three, four, five, six, three discards. With this hand, we're a front runner. I would go for consecutive run. Pung Kong, Pung Kong, ready to go. If you would have done something differently, write it in the comment section below with Force One. Okay, we have Joker, Pear Flowers, East, Green, and Red Dragon. Punga one bams with a three, four, seven, and cracks, and a seven dot. So we need to force either singles and pairs or wins and dragons. We have a Joker. So I think I would play wins and dragons with the flower, though. Okay. Pair of flowers. There's one hand, two hands we could do in Winds and Dragons. Third hand down and fourth hand down. We do have a three. Maybe we could make a year hand work with East and West. Okay, well let's, let's see, singles and pairs. I guess let's keep the one. All right, well, let's pass those three and see what happens. Whoops. Okay, another three. That could work for a year hand. Six, seven, eight. All right. East. Okay, maybe we can do east and west with the year. Let's break that up. That's a little bit risky. Let's let a red dragon go. Another east. Okay, let's let's pass one nine dragon. Oh my gosh, what in the world? I hope nobody would ever pass a pair like that. Okay, we have east and a bunch of threes. Okay, I would risk it. Two dragons. That's a bit risky, really. Oh, a two. Look. Okay, good. Glad we kept those threes. Now we can let those go. East. This could be the west, maybe. We need a white dragon and another two. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Let's pass these three. No keepers. We ended up with Joker bait. So three discards, Joker bait, east and west with the year. Winds and dragons. If you would have done something differently, write force two and what you would have done with these tiles.
Okay, we gotta make a single and pair work. We have a pair of flowers. There are three hands with flowers. Year hand, two, four, six, eight, and one uh, consecutive pairs. And we have a consecutive five, five, six. We have a one, two, one. I would not pass two uh, wins like that. So if we do fives, one, two, year hand. Okay, so five, one, two. Let's let the six dot go. Maybe we could do, no, we wanna use these flowers. Oh my goodness, nines. Okay, one crack. One, two, one, year hand. Okay, we're a bit shackled with this joker. Can't use a joker with a single and pair hand. Okay, one, two, one, three. Let's break up the five. Sadness. We want ones and twos. Two. Okay, one, two. Let's pass one of each suit. Three. Okay, we really don't need that. One. We really don't need that either. Pairs. We need pairs. One, two, one, two. Two, three. One, five. One, two, one, two, three. Let's let the three go. One, two, one, two. Red, six. No, we can let these go. Seven, eight, east. We could still maybe try a year hand. Let's pass those three. Oh, we got, oh my goodness. Look at, ooh. Two, three. Big ear hand. One, two, one, two. I think I would let this go and focus on the big ear hand. No keepers. No surprise. I think I would just keep this for a bit, that too. But I think the big ear hand is what I would try for. Three discards options for singles and pairs. Of course, we'd have to discard the joker. Would you have gone for a different single and pair hand? Seven, one. Dragons. Maybe the three, six, nine hand would have worked. Dragon. No, nine, three. One dragon. Six, nine. Three, six, nine. Six, nine, dragon, three, six, nine. There might have been some potential for a three, six, nine dragon hand. One dragon, no green, but we have the white dragon there. All right, let me know what you think about that one. American Mahjong is a very flexible game. If you make the right decisions at the right time, you can make just about anything work. And sometimes when you're playing, the hand that you're working on is no longer viable for whatever reason. Maybe somebody has a pure Kong of a tile you need for a pair. You may have to switch your hand and force something completely different. This is a great skill to build for those situations.
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.